Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here, and welcome back to Georgetown, where it is harvest season. We are ready to harvest some crops. Woohoo! Oh, a couple. Not as many as I'd like, but it's still summer. We're still in summer. We've got an early time. So, we've got wheat, we've got barley. I think we can harvest both of them. Uh, I don't know if the barley's ready. Uh, no, the wheat. Barley. Wheat. Barley wheat. I think the barley's good to go. I'm not sure about the wheat. But uh, we're going to get into that. But before we do that, guys, it's also upgrade time. I am next level. This John Deere S440, well, it's been a decent combine for us. It's just too small. It's time we, well, spend some of our, our hard-earned milk bucks and uh, we upgrade it. So this little guy is going to market. This little piggy is going to market. <laughs> and we're going to upgrade. The little S S440 is going to be gone today. And it's time we got rid of it. I'm going to keep nothing no we're not gonna keep anything i was thinking about keeping the header but it's not gonna work um and guys it, just a heads up it's not gonna be green say what sorry yeah let's do this pitter patter so what's going on there farm simmers guys we've got ourselves a brand new combine oh man look at this this just ain't any combine um, we spent a little bit of money on it, but in the grand scheme of things, you know what? It, this setup, once we sold off everything else, that John Deere, the 40, 440, the, yeah, the, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The 440, uh, it was about a hundred thousand dollars more expensive. Now that doesn't include, we're still missing a corn header, which is fine. That'll be another hundred grand, give or take. But, uh, guys, this is awesome. Look at this thing. Yeah. You know what? I've said this like a million times. We we stand away we tend to stay away from the new Hollands, but this one I mean look at the floaters on this thing it's a bit ridiculous I mean I don't really need these floaters this big but I couldn't resist I really couldn't resist the floaters now guys this is the CR 9080 or 9080 or nine series nine thousand series uh, we have the upgraded engine in this one so it's around 500 horsepower is what we're pushing but uh, we didn't go with the crawler track you're typically going to find on this new Holland of course we've got well some big good years. I'm not much for crawler tracks. I find crawler tracks are kind of a pain. Uh, more maintenance, to be honest. Let's be perfectly honest. So, we got the big floaters up there. Uh, decent sized rear wheels, too. So, we shouldn't have to worry about sliding off into the creek. That shouldn't be a problem with this thing. Look at those. Man, those are big. Uh, and then our header. We have, a, I think it's a 41 foot header on this one. The New Holland 41 foot header as well. Good to go. So, like I said, I still need to get some kind of a corn header. Yeah, we need a corn header of some sort. But eh, we'll get that at some point. I'm, I mean, we're not ready to harvest corn yet, so not worry too, too much. But we do have some fields ready to go, so I figure, you know what? It's time to upgrade. We got the money. We've been selling milk like madmen. Madmen selling milk, I'm telling you. Uh, but it's time we put this to work, I guess. Let's go give this thing a shot. But wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, because this one's a screamer. Now, we've also got the extension. You can see up on top. There's an extension up on the top of this bad boy. Bad boy! Oh, man. That extension is going to make my life so much better. You guys might remember that our... What is it? The, uh, the John Deere only had about an 8,000 or 6,000 liter tank. Was it 6,000? Was it that small? I think we're at 14,000. I'm going to be able to do whole fields without even thinking about it. Um, in fact, you think we can do... That barley field or the wheat? Is it barley or whatever? The one on the right, the bigger of the two. I, I wonder if we'll be able to do it all without unload or without filling up. Maybe. Let's find out. Shall we? Let's jump into this thing. Let's get some work done. Fired up. Oh, Rod. Love it. All right. Ahead nice and easy. Uh, one thing, of course, I'm going to need to consider more with the, uh, the new Holland here, guys. The header is much bigger of course I, what did we have for a size do you guys i can't even remember anymore what the size of that header was on the last one on that john deere was it oh, yeah, 30 footer maybe something like that um i don't remember what it was anyways we've got to be more conscious about that now because obviously this header is quite a bit bigger um i've got another problem i've got to fit in the field with the header huh yeah that's gonna be a fun trip um okay We'll have to finagle this, and that's going to be interesting. So I'm going to have to... Yeah, what we have to do is get our corner in and then turn it as we go around the corner. Yeah, such a pain. Such a pain. All right, let's zoom on in here. 
And grab this header. Oh, man. All right, we'll have to hook this all up. But what I'm thinking, guys, is that, uh, like I said, we're going to have to come in. Let's see. It'd be better if I came in from this angle right here and then got the corner in and around and then twisted, right? That makes sense to you guys? Let's, let's see if I can make this happen. I don't know. Yeah, she doesn't fit this way. So let's see if I can get this to work the way I want it to now. Um, such a pain. Uh, all right, let's see if I can get angle this in like this. See, we're gonna need to start thinking about like putting more room at the start of our fields for uh, for entryways. That way we don't have to worry about this kind of messing about. I mean, I could just drive in there essentially and set everything up in the corner, but I, I don't like losing crop. Okay. I'm fighting. Come on. I need to get it. I need to get tighter in on this. Let's just get nice and up against the side of this fence. It's been a while since I've had to do this. Right there. Okay. Now we should be able to crank this in uh, a little bit closer. And then crank this in. Can I see the top. I can't even see it out of this wheel this side. There we go. And now we're in. That is the rigmarole you gotta do. Okay. Let's drop this down. Make sure our straw swath is engaged. And we're good to go. All right. Push forward just a touch. Everything's... Oh, oh, oh. I, I turned off the swath. There we go. Put it back on. I know what I'm doing. Really, I do. <laughs> Dummy. All right. There we go. All right, so what is our max speed on this? Six miles an hour? That seems to be about right. Um, I, I don't know what's going on with this, the swath. Holy shnikes, what is going on back there? That's, uh, I'm gonna have to talk to someone about that. <laughs> that doesn't look right at all. That can't be right, can it? What? It's just dumping everywhere. <laughs> oh, eh, it's all right. It, we're getting what we need. We're getting what we need out of it. It's okay. Um, so the question is, oh, you know what, guys? I thought I might be able to get all of this in one go round, but there is absolutely zero chance of that. We're already at 21%. I'm going to need to bring a tractor over with uh, a bin. That is, cr okay, that's a lot more than I thought, but that's a good sign. That, that's definitely a good sign. So we're going to get some decent cash off this. I wasn't sure what we'd get. To be perfectly honest, guys, we've been more worried about the straw from this field than, uh, than anything else. I mean, it's been, yeah, the barley and the wheat are good to have, but, you know, oh man, I'm missing a little bit. My bad, my bad. We'll just scooch that over. Um, but it's the straw is something that I wouldn't mind having a little bit more of. We got a little bit, but we, remember we lost a whole bunch last year as well. So it's nice to have a little bit more. All right. That's definitely a better swath than we had last time. Look at that. Yeah, that's way better. Um, we're getting a good, good swath on this one, at least compared to what we had before. Man, that feels better. I like it. Right over to the corner, and we're at, what, 55%. Oh, I'm not going to make it back. Oh, that sucks. I was hoping this would be, like, a perfect 50 percentile even. But, guys, this is even... This is... Even with this big bin that we have on the top there, that's surprising that uh, we're not... We're that much... That much space is being used up. This is a pretty good crop. This is a... Fairly good yield we're getting off the barley. I think this is better than what we did last year. I'm pretty sure this is a little bit more than what we got last year. This feels like we're filling up a little bit quicker in my book, but. Who am I to say? Tough to say. It's tough to tell. I can't remember. It's been so long. Oh, look at that. Lots of barley going in. Uh, the bin, she's a full. She is definitely full. Look at that. All right, so much for that, guys. That was uh, a lot more than I was, I was kind of expecting. I got some more than I was a bargaining for. Let's, uh, I'm going to put this... Uh, let's just leave this here for now. Okay, I'm gonna run back over. Um, I've got another decision to make. Do we want to just grab some bins, or oh, I got a better idea. Yeah, let's. I got a better idea. Okay, you're not surprised by my bright idea, are you? Yeah, we're gonna use the uh, the C500 again. Of course we are. Of course we are. This is my favorite truck ever. Um, now what do I want to do with this? Because there is a slight problem we have to acknowledge here. I can't. Uh, yeah, I, I just can't drive beside. It's too high, I think, or is it? I don't know. We might be able to drive beside. Um, but my plan was instead just to, well, do this. 
We'll just drop the bin right here, for instance. We can leave that right there. Let this unload. And from here, we're good to go. So it might be able to make it with the uh, the 90... What is that? that the 9000 series? We might be high enough. We didn't have to drop it down. But just in case it's not... Guess what? We're saved. Look at me. Pre-planning. Right? I know. Who would have thunk it? Um... Let's empty this on out. Sweet. Right there we go. So this isn't a bad way to do this, actually, either. You can just kind of drop bins off around your field beforehand. If you have a big field to do, you can just drop some bins off around beforehand. And then if you had someone that could run and grab the bins, that'd be nice, right? That's a different way of doing things. Um, that works out pretty well, though. So this will be... What do we have? 14,000 liters. I think this bin holds... Is it 30? I think it holds about 30 off the top of my head. It might be a bit more than that, actually. I can't remember now. Maybe it's 48. I just, yeah, just don't ask me. I can't remember. So we'll, uh, we'll, fill it, we'll fill it a couple more times at least before that. Sweet. Back in. Um, and we'll see what happens here, but we'll leave that bin just sitting there for the time being. And drop. Thank you. And we can just kind of make a trip back there on our own every time. And we're good to go. Pretty smart maneuver. SMRT. SMRT. I am the smart. I am the smart. SMRT. I mean SMART. Oh, oh, speaking of not so smart. There we go. So far looking pretty good. I'm really actually enjoying this this harvester. This thing's not bad. One minor little issue is it's definitely not as maneuverable as what we're kind of been used to, guys. Um, she tends to be... Well, she's bigger, of course, right? So what do you expect? I, I mean, you can't have it all. <laughs> Why can't you have it all? Uh, but I am struggling a little bit with the turns. <laughs> I mean, best driver in farms, so don't worry about it. It's okay. Uh, speaking of which, did I get it? Did I guess? Ah, right there. See, that's okay. I did. That was all right. Anyways, uh, third dump. Oh, it looks like I'm missing. I'm missing. I'm <laughs> like dumping everywhere. Let's see if we can pick that back right there. There we go. Um, yeah, so the turning radius on this New Holland is a little bit, a uh, little wide by comparison. Let's just say that. So let me get back into this field. Uh, we'll see. Maybe one more? What do you think? We can probably dump one more into this bin. That's actually quite a bit more than I was expecting. So, yeah, it's got to be almost 50,000 liters this thing holds. All right, guys, we got a full bin on the uh, the IT runner. And we also have actually pretty much a full bin up there as well in the uh, the New Holland. Let's bring this back on up. Look at that. You can see the bin on both. <laughs> They're both pretty much full. All right. Let's lift our bin on up. And uh, let's go dump this off. Now, we're not going to need a whole other bin, but... It's the best option I have, so there's no point in me switching that out right now, is it? You know what? I could have brought over one of their trailers. That would have been a, a, a pretty good idea, actually, as well. We could have just brought over the uh, one of those little tow-behind trailers behind this truck. And we could have done it all in one go. I should have thought of that. But to be honest, I didn't think we were going to go through this much, this much product. I didn't think we were going to get this much grain off this field. We, we're getting more than I thought, which is really a good thing. Oh, man, I, I usually go the other direction. Please don't hit, please don't hit, please don't hit. Ah, I think we're okay. Yeah, I usually uh, am facing on the far side when I dump into here. And uh, there's enough room, but I think I would hit the bottom of the uh, the silo there if I weren't right in the center. So, got to be careful with that. Make sure I don't break that off. That would be awkward. Wish you weren't so awkward, bud. All right, back we go. Let's go finish off uh, the last little bit of this field. It shouldn't take us that much more time, actually. Oh, let's uh, let's see if we can fit. Is she gonna fit underneath this? There's a bit of ground dis difference between the two, so that's one thing. Uh, let's take her nice and easy. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh man, she just barely fits. That's perfect. Okay, we couldn't do that with the John Deere, but that's an option now for us with the New Holland. That's pretty... Actually, that's that's not bad, guys. I like that. Uh, it fits now, so I don't, I don't have to take it off there, but I can if, can if I want. I don't need to, though. That's good to know. Last pass, and we are got a wrap on our first... Harf, sorry, our first... Blah, 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 first harvest of the field. That's what are you talking about? <laughs> the first harvest this season. Nice. Uh, it is still early. It's still so early, you guys. We still have lots of time. It's just... Let's just take it easy. We're good now. In fact, I went and took a look at the... Uh, in the field next door, it's not quite ready yet. I think we got a couple another days, maybe another day or so, before we can get into that wheat field. 
Uh, which is fine. That's totally fine. We're in no rush. Why does it feel like I'm drifting everywhere? Wow, this thing flies. 30 miles an hour. How did I get up to 30 miles an hour? That's really quite fast. <laughs> um, anyone want to go combine racing? So to wrap this up, guys, let's just go grab... Uh, we got our wind rower. I've got a wind rower. I don't know which one we've got up here anymore. We still have one here somewhere. I know we... Ah, oh, there should both... I think there's still... Uh, we have to figure out which one we got here. And uh, we'll grab the loading wagon. And I'll see if I can get Gritty to come give us a hand, shall we? And we'll see if we can get this field wrapped up. I gotta make it out of this gate still. Ah, oh, this is such a pain. Such a pain. Maybe I should go reverse. Would that make life easier for me? I have no idea if that would help. Crank that in. Come on. <laughs> now I've got to Austin Powers this out. There we go. We got it. Done. All right, guys, we're ready to jump back into the field. Oh, look, there's Gertie right now. Perfect. She is uh, going to come give us a hand, and we are going to be just picking up the straw. This should be relatively quick since we've got this big crone wind rower. I'm going to drive the Veltra. She's got the John Deere with the uh, the, the Bergman uh, loading wagon. I'm going to leave the, uh, the new De Holland right up on the side here for now. We've got no weather in the forecast, and I need to get into this field next, so why take it anywhere else? Especially with that massive header. It's such a pain to move it around. Um, and I got nowhere to put it really yet. I don't know if that's going to fit in the garage. We kept that John Deere. I don't know, guys. It might fit. It, it might not. I have no idea if that thing's going to fit in there or not. So uh, it's something to think about. I still got this massive weight on the front. I should have taken that off. I don't really need it for the wind roar, but whatever. Still love this Veltra. This thing's pretty sweet. Let's go into the field. We'll open this up as soon as we get past the gates. I've opened this before. Before we got through the gates. Um, not a good idea on this area. Let's see if we get all the way through. Okay, stop, stop, stop. That should be enough. I think we got enough room. I think we got enough room. Perfect. Drop these down. Turn this on. And away we go. There's no way I can get three, I don't think, is there? No, there's no way. I can't get all three of them. That's too bad. That would be that'd be sweet if I could get all three, but I think I'll just end up grabbing a bunch of a mess if I do that. Um, but Gertie will be right behind me. Oh, Gertie, you're like right up behind me there. Easy. Easy now. I don't need you to smash into the back of my wind roar. <laughs> uh, yeah. Should be fine. It should be totally fine, guys. Oh, bad. You know what? This is not really saving me that much time, but whatever. It, it's a little bit easier. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today here on Georgetown. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Harvest has started. The harvest has started on Georgetown. That's right. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you guys know what to do. Slap that like. Don't forget to subscribe. You haven't done so already. And folks, I'm going to catch you next time from Georgetown. It's Clutch and Gertie. Over and out.